Oh, hey there. Welcome to Axie Expert. I'm your expert, Don Donolsky with IWA.com. Going to answer a heating and cooling question because that's the show. Uh, today's question, uh, it doesn't have a name on it. So I'm just going to say from Randy. Probably Randy. Hey, Dan. Hey, Randy. My basement is flooded with water. Oh, okay. I noticed that the condenser unit outside was pure white, covered in ice on Friday, and the basement was flooded on Sunday evening after a high of 65. Could that have backed up into the house? Okay, so you got an outside condenser covered with water, uh, or covered in ice, and then it melts, I guess, and Sunday evening, the basement's flooded. Well, okay, so it doesn't say how much the basement's flooded, so I'm not sure. Uh, could, it, could those two things be related? Okay. Maybe. There's a lot to talk about here. So a condenser in winter, if you've got a, if you've got a heat pump and you're heating, there can, there can be ice build up on that. What's happening is when that heat pump's heating, the condensate is forming on the outside coil, on the condenser coil. Uh, and so of course it's cold outside and you know, that, that condensate's really cold and so it, you know, it can turn into ice. And most condensers are gonna have a defrost mode that they go into to melt that ice normal could that back up into the basement um i mean probably i don't think so it shouldn't be ha shouldn't be able to back up like that i mean it's just gonna melt and drip off the condenser unless you have a problem with drainage around your house uh maybe not yeah i don't know if those two are related uh i would actually the first thing you should do if you think there's something wrong with the condenser in terms of icing uh make sure your defrost mode is working okay if it is not working, then you need to have a technician come out and investigate the unit. Now, in terms of basement flooding, there's a number of reasons why you could have a basement flooding. The, the biggest one is that, well, it's a basement, and if you have a sufficient amount of rainfall, that ground around your house could just get saturated, and that water can just leak in through pores in uh, the concrete or the block. Uh, I doubt a condenser that's icing by itself would have enough water buildup on it. To, to saturate ground like that and then seep through. So yeah, I would say it's just probably do, if you had a lot of rain, um, that's what I would suspect. It could also be the HVAC fairy. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, do you have questions about condensers with ice on them or groundwater in your basement or the HVAC fairy? Just, just let us know in the comments below. Okay, bye.